Hello Collective, welcome back to the platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Subscribe to the Ascended Divinations Priestess channel. I appreciate all of you, all of you for watching. Okay, let's go ahead and get into our tarot reading. But first, as always, I return to source. I return to sender all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the purest of vibrational energy in the highest in of vibrational energy. Okay, I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness, many, many blessings to you and your families. As always, as I have said, so shall it be. Okay, real quickly, for the past, I don't know, couple of weeks, are we going to have something that's been a masculine sending me some type of love energy, like lustful energy? Leave me alone. I am not. Like, that stuff does not work on me. You're agitating me as heck. Like, not like downstairs, but mentally, you're agitating me. You're getting on my last nerves. Leave me alone. Like, I can see you. I don't know who this practitioner is you're going to. Get off my case. I'm not interested. <laughs> Leave me alone. I can see you and the practitioner. <laughs> Lord have mercy. And you're someone from my past. Leave me alone. I'm not interested, okay? Any day of the week, I will always choose me. So you can keep paying for these illusions and things like that. I will always choose me. I don't care. I am a free will being and I will always remain a free will being. So you're not going to make me accept any type of offer from you whatever plans you have and uh, honey i'm not interested leave me alone i'm not i'm not the, the the love spell is not working what you what you are doing is pissing me up because i'm trying to focus on other stuff and then you keep projecting leave me alone leave me alone okay sir leave me alone <laughs> you in the practitioner <laughs> yeah better leave me alone before i get pissed up because you guys will f around go to sleep and i said three words you won't be getting back up. Leave me alone. I don't like people playing in my energy like that. Okay, sir? I don't like people playing in my energy like that. I get really agitated. I don't know why you're stuck in your mind about an emperor, another emperor. Yeah, taking charge of a situation, deciding to invest in something. I don't know what the heck that has to do with... Leave me alone. Thank you. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into this tarot reading. I had to say something because I know it's someone that watches me. And it's just like every freaking time for the past couple of weeks, like a week and a half or something like that. You just keep on just projecting the day. And I'm like, what the heck is wrong with this person? Like, leave me alone. Come on. What happened to the days where men came to you face to face to give you love offers, to ask you out? Like, straightforward. Now, they sit behind the scenes and go to practitioners to send you magic. Say, I want this heifer to fall in love with me so I can take her down. I'm not really in love with her, but I want to. I see her as a mountain that I need to conquer. And because she's not into just sleeping with anyone, okay, I want her to fall in love with me so I can sleep with her and then I can just dash her on the side of the road and dismiss her. It's not happening, sir. Okay? It's not happening. <laughs> So I want to win and pay some good, good money. <laughs> so I want to win and pay some good, good money for some illusion. <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> he, he and the practitioner are frustrated. He <laughs> said, this is some powerful magic. It's not working. Never was meant to work. You need to move on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just a, this send you a whole lot of energy. Just that push repeatedly. Push, push. And I'm like, come on. When it first started, I said, oh, okay, that's cute. That's cute. It is. I like, just won't stop. It's like, come on. Like, get over yourself. Let's go ahead and get to our tarot reading. That was enough entertainment for the day. Anyways. We have someone that is paying for some type of stagnation or still make to take place. It says someone wants to put some type of heart into something someone is manifesting. They don't want you to receive some type of message or they're paying for someone to send some type of message. Someone has absolutely been paying for rituals. This is a group of friend, friends in a community that have been paying for some type of ritual because they want to defeat someone. They don't want you receiving some type of love opportunity. Someone wants you to choose them um, because someone unexpectedly or unintentionally 
bonded themselves to a group of people, right? Um, so now they're stuck in something and may want to come towards you to give you some type of offer. Um, the universe wants you to know you don't have a, a, a contract with this person anymore. This is like your soul twin, your soul may falling from grace, um, but they were manipulated in the way that they ended up falling from grace. It's like they accepted some type of payment. Um, when the payment was given to them, it was made to seem like it was something that was genuine, like someone was just being nice to them or something like that. But they didn't realize that they were making a connection with a community of people that were into like dark work and binding some people. Whoever this is that they were able to bind to them is someone that lives in like a false hood, like a false mindset. Someone's very karmic and toxic and this is why they were so easy, easy to be manipulated. But this is someone you had some type of contract with in the past and these people got in there to defeat this person and they didn't know that the people they were working with were destroying them or defeating them intentionally. So it's like the enemy helps you defeat yourself, block your forward movement. Whatever they are there is causing some type of chaos and conflict behind the scenes because you are still moving forward getting wish fulfillment and having a new beginning uh, so you're putting an end to this chapter with these people you're taking charge of your life and moving forward be wary of a king of wands behind the scenes this could be someone that's going through some type of ending. There's a king of pentacles in going through some type of tower as well. Someone finances or being uh someone finances is being hindered um because they themselves accepted some type of bribery. Now I don't know if the if the uh king of pentacles was aware of what he was getting into, but um, it seems that someone failed to be practical about a situation or an offer, offer that was given to him. So he himself is going through some type of tower because the truth is out about what a family's true intentions were when they approached him. So there is a couple out here that may be trying to protect themselves, but they're going through some type of ending because the truth is exposed about what they've been doing the whole time. Um, they've been stalking someone. This could be a family or a couple that has been stalking someone. Um, and they didn't know that they were uh, uh, bribing people literally or just getting people binded to something that they shouldn't be a part of. So the whole community, the whole family dynamic, whatever this is behind the scenes, they're going through some type of conflict, trying to interfere with some type of justice or karma be, uh, taking place, but it will be taking place. People are starting to see things from a higher perspective and it could be a masculine that's walking away from this group, choosing to ascend so that he can have some type of brand new passionate beginning and be victorious in life. Someone may want to present you with an opportunity opportunity because they see you as wish fulfillment right out here and again you the star sea earth angel indigo child you will be receiving a new opportunity and this could be in love as well and this is what these people are trying to destroy. You are going to be receiving some commitment in life. Um, and it doesn't have to be love. I try not to really focus my readings on love because I need people to self-actualize and be self-sufficient, independent, uh, and things like that. And not be sitting around waiting for love. Like you need to get in touch with your higher self, like become a soul guide to yourself and then to other people before worrying about someone giving you a love offer. Because a lot of the times the people you are expecting to get a love offer from don't even love themselves enough yet to know how to genuinely love you but you are someone who is like an ascended master the universe may be communicating with you and they're hoping that you will go with and pay attention to the dreams the premonitions they're giving you so that you don't miss a beat because you are someone who is very high ranking you are uh, uh um what is this they're going to send their master basically, right? You've mastered yourself. There is an emperor in here that will be communicating with you and wants to make you some type of offer in love. Um, and people are trying to block this person from doing that. He may be stuck in his mind. Maybe you are familiar with this person, may have taken some type of action behind the scenes. Um, but there is also a king of wands behind the scenes going through some type of healing, maybe losing his emotions because maybe he did or took some type of action against you to end something for you destroy you block you something of that nature there is a queen of pentacles as well that's losing her stability her finances because someone went all out when it came to coming after you someone wanted to make sure that you were knocked down and could not get back up but it seems that you are okay and she's the one out here that's no longer a privileged lady i think we did warn this lady on this platform and oftentimes when we're doing terror reading the messages comes out 
the way they do because a lot of the times these people are watching our platforms and they don't know we're picking up on their energies and things like that. And we are warning them ahead of time to either do something, not do something. But, you know, karmics, there will always be karmics in karmic land. Um, so she, while she's losing her stability, her resources and finances, someone is about to be out in the cold. You are going to be receiving wish fulfillment, queen of cups, and you will be having a brand new passionate beginning. You will be successful in life. We'll have the family dynamic you want. We'll get to move on. You are absolutely an empress and you are moving fast towards victory. Um, there is another empress and I keep picking up on this woman behind the scenes that's living in fear and anxiety. Someone is not getting their way in some type of situation. They are heartbroken, disappointed, pissed off. Uh, I hear angry behind the scenes because you are receiving some type of victory. And this is something she's been trying to block, but the truth is out about this woman and she's going to have to walk away with the rest of the, uh, Ku Klux Klan, whatever the heck we want to call them. She's going to have to walk away because balance is being burned into this situation. Someone has a higher understanding of all of the actions people were taking to cause you some type of heartbreak, disappointment, and things like that. She may be heartbroken because you're going to be receiving some type of offer, either in work, commitment, love, whatever it is, you will be receiving it. But they're trying to cause some type of deceit when it comes to justice or balance being burned into a situation. They're trying to interfere with your uh blessings your offers just everything there is absolutely a dark high priestess in this uh, uh um equation in this community about to be going through some type of ending as well um about to be losing a lot a lot of her finances are about to be dismantled like someone is about to lose ever yeah someone's about to lose everything quite a whole lot may have already lost it right and it's trying to save face may need to walk away from a group of people because she's realizing that she invested her time in the wrong thing. These people are disappointed because they can no longer cause stagnation. They're the ones that are in some type of mental imprisonment, right? Feeling outcasted. It's like they put energy out there for you to be disappointed, mentally conflicted, you know, mentally unstable, emotionally unstable, financially unstable. They're the ones going through this though. There is a queen of cups in this uh, community that's going through some type of loss. You may want to be careful because you may have some type of prison sentence coming up ahead of you. I did warn one of your people, a queen of wands uh, earlier during the year when I started my channel. You know how you all you get together and you start feeling yourself. You wake up in the morning talking about, I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling, I'm feeling, I'm feeling myself. Yeah, she was feeling herself, baby. She was feeling herself. She threw her toxicity, had her protected. Her connections had her protected. But the truth is, honey, uh, you, you're ending, you're headed right to the penitentiary. And the Queen of Cups in here, the same thing could be coming towards you. Uh, you are being seen as someone who's very deceitful, a liar, right? So there's something going on. You're disappointed that a queen of source is protected and is standing their ground and they will be successful in life. Um, someone is showing up in all of the energies they need to. This is you collective. You, you show up in the energies you need to for the situation so you are matching these people's energy not the lower vibrational one but you when they come at you you show up as a queen of source okay they back up you say okay i guess i can go back to being a queen of cups but if you try me again queen of swords queen of wands like sore pulled out and it has them burning they say you should have left me alone you wouldn't be in this situation. My wish and this is a whole family that's burning out here and this is because they're under judgment by the spirit realm they should have left you alone, but there's something where I keep hearing there's a lot of money on the line or something. You ain't getting this money. I keep telling you all, you ain't getting this money. Like your time is up. If you got any money in the past off of blocking someone else's pathway, stealing from someone, it's going to cost you. It's going to cost you heavily. Okay. And this is the guy's honest truth. If you didn't know, now you know every action you took to interfere with justice being brought into a, a situation through conflict and bribery. Honey, balance is going to be brought in that situation in divine timing. You're trapped in some type of toxic community, relationships, whatever this is. You're going to lose everything. And whoever you are trying to destroy, honey, they're going to be sitting and looking pretty. Okay? Sitting and looking pretty, minding their business. You all need to do some type of introspection, go and seek legal counseling, 
uh, legal help because some of you, your mental is not where it's supposed to be. Your mental is very shaky, shaky, as I like to call it. Okay. But whoever you're coming after, yeah, they know someone's planning to come in towards a feminine energy. This device, some type of plan. I'm going to go in, give her this love offer. She's going to fall in love with me. We're going to lay together and then I'm going to put it down on them real good. And then they're going to be trapped with me forever. And then we're going to move forward. They're going to feel like they chose me because I'm the better option. We're going to have a family together. And the whole time they don't know that I'm trying to uh, secretly destroy them. I'm about to have them living in fear and be taken from them. Oh, she knows. Don't do it. Don't do it. Cause she knows the truth. Y'all know my singing is not my singing does not be singing. It just be out here being silly. Because I can't hold a note to save my life. But what I can do is give you wisdom. All you got to do is heed to wisdom so you don't make a fool out of yourself. Okay, but there is a man out here that thinks he's going to come in and have victory with a woman. I don't know who you are, sister, but I know because if you're anything like me, girl, you got that sore pool out at this man before he even approach you because you're like a proceed at your own discretion because I don't got time to be playing with you. And he's burdened because someone knows you're very intellectual and you'll see right through them like a glass house. It's a lot of people in this community that like to throw stones, but they live in glass houses. We be seeing right through, right through, right through. Okay, there's an empress energy. I don't. I think this woman is really just an empress because she's either somebody's wife or somebody's mother, or she has a child by someone. But a sister likes to throw stones, but you live in a glass house. All your business is out there. Okay, it's all out there. <laughs> It's all out there just circulating. So you may want to hold back from picking a fight with someone because you don't know what they know about you. <laughs> you don't know what they know about you. Someone knows everything about you, what you do, may know a little bit more about you than you know about yourself. So you may want to hold back with paying people, right, to cause some type of hindrance to someone. Hold back. Community, hold back. Okay? You better hold back. She's out here afraid that someone's going to receive a love offer, going to get married, all that nonsense. You're low vibrational as heck. You're low vibrational as heck. Again, <laughs> you're low vibrational as heck. This collaboration is over. Oh, this queen of wands, queen of pentacles, excuse me. Oh, everybody is way down. Dang. This queen of pentacles, honey, we tried to help you. You just wouldn't listen. You were determined to have victory. Victory that was never promised to you by the most high. We told you time and time again, but you kept going to practitioners. You worked with a king of cups, king of pentacles, right? To interfere with some type of union. You came up with all kinds of ways on how you could help someone Help a group of people destroy some. We told you. We told you. We told you. We told you. You are into a lot of energy work. Baby, we told you. We told you. Now, someone don't want to be committed to you. A community may not even want to be associated with you. That's what I'm getting from that three of pentacles being in the reverse right underneath you. A community does not want to be associated with you because they know what you were planning for someone, right? And you were causing illusions and things like that. You said someone didn't know what they were talking about. They were unskilled. They were pretending. But people are finding out that's not true. Someone is actually skilled. All you do is manipulations. You lie. You steal. Oh, you're going through it. God dang. You are going through it. Could have been prevented, but we told you. We don't told you repeatedly on this channel, ma'am. Ma'am. Hold back. Quick, keep the little bit of quint you have left in your pocket. You didn't listen. You kept going. Say, I'll be darned if this Darcy has victory over me. Now look at you. Now look at you out here crippling everything. Ah. Ah. And you're still dumb enough to keep wanting to take action. Oh my gosh. It's a special kind of stupid in our midst. This community don't want to be associated with you anymore. 
the high priestess, the liar, the one you all have been working with. Oh, man, woman, they're going through it behind the scenes. There are finances. It's about to be looking so funny. Someone's about to go through some type of curse. A lot of you are in some type of uh, cycle that's going to be like seven to ten years long where you won't be able to harvest nothing. I'm telling you, you won't be able to harvest anything. Going to have a hard time recovering anything. Your emotions are out of balance already, but they're about to be even worse. You're out here losing your mind because someone is going to be receiving some type of offer in life. And it's causing a tower, a tower her for everybody. I told you all to hold back. Now this Queen of Cups is stuck. She's going through like uh, whoever this is. Oh, you're about to go through it. You are about to go through it, madame. Okay, when I say go through it. So, I don't know if it's you or the queen of wands. Someone's about to be homeless. May have to do funny things for money. But you should be accustomed to that because you already use your body recklessly. Oop. I guess your community didn't know that. You should be used to it. You'll just be doing your old job. It's okay. It ain't nothing new. You'll be, in, you'll, you'll, you'll be in, on, on comfort grounds. That Mr. King of Pentacles, Mr. King of Cups, excuse me. Mr. King of Cups is on Mondays. <laughs> Mr. King of Pentacles is on Tuesday. <laughs> There's a higher fan on Wednesday. You're looking for new options for Thursday. Tower, you're having a hard time finding someone for Friday. Oh, Saturday, there's someone coming to do you, but won't want to pay you. Now you got to walk away and go find something better to do, but there ain't nothing. Listen, sister. Hey, try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you end up way down. But while you're way down going through burdens, you're still pointing on how to end someone's girl. Girl, it's that we can't talk no sense into your head. Mr. King of Wands don't walk away. He said, I want to heal. He wants to be an emperor now so he can have victory. So he's getting the heck up away from you, choosing to live in his truth, seeing the truth about his life and what he partook in. Causing someone an ending, betraying his actual soulmate. Lord, he's taking charge of his life. But, you know, that Mr. King of Wands is something off about him. Someone, whoever this man is coming to, be on the lookout. Because there's someone planning your ending and trying to weigh you down. Because they themselves, they are weighed down. Someone done trapped himself in a community with a toxic group of people. So he's coming towards you to cause you some type of illusion. This is a karmic masculine. And I said it, he feels trapped. Don't got nothing to offer you because he hindered himself. Someone's into rituals. He, he's like something. This would be the person that's paying someone behind the scenes for some type of ritual. Okay. Someone wants you to spread for him. And he feels like if he can just get you to spread one time. <laughs> he said one time is all it's going to take. And then. She's going to fall in love with me. And then I'm going to break her heart. I'll be in and out of her life. It's like a revolving door. I'm in today, tomorrow. I'm out. I'm in today, tomorrow. I'm out. That woman don't want nothing to do with you. You're going to have to move on up. Move on, sir. These rituals uh, ain't working. But that queen of wands, though, baby. Mm, baby. The actual queen of wands you've been pretending to be is going to have victory, new beginning, everything you can think of. You couldn't steal someone's blessing. She's been trying to hold on to someone's ace of pentacles through an emperor. Yeah, through an emperor. She's been trying to hold on to someone's ace of pentacles. You're going to have to let go because when you're in the penitentiary, there's nothing you can really do. A masculine is about to leave you to figure out your SHIT by yourself. Won't be giving to you no more, no more, no more, no more, no more. Mm. Baby. Okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was funny when it started. They don't ran out of options. Your, your, your twin fling, soulmate, whoever this is, he ain't laughing no more. He thought it was funny. He thought it was funny when they were taking you down 
They were overwhelming you with obstacles and oh, he thought it was funny. He he, he he ha ha ho ho. It was funny. It ain't funny no more. A brother is out here way down, unbalanced. Don't went from being a temperance energy to being a juggler. I a whole joke. Chai, see you see your life. Uncertainty is the road that lies ahead of him. He don't even know what direction to take. He don't know how to approach you because you ain't worried about him. This brother is way, way down. Don't but swing low. Swing chariot. Coming back to carry me home. Baby, we don't know who it is, but it's not in the direction of our star seed. Yeah, it's not in the direction of our star. See, you're going to have to put your head up, look around, and see where you're supposed to go. Okay? <laughs> it said, all you had to do was look up. Listen, my, my ancestor said, someone failed an open book test. That's why he's with the rest of the people that failed the open book test. I cannot. <laughs> it was an open book test. test they gave him the answers god dang it sir they gave him the answers that the target is right the answer is right there it's right there and he still flunked it dang that's why he's with the community of people that failed the open book test that's justice right you he accepted some type of bribery this community of people were paying Behind the scenes. Yeah, Queen of Wands. Girl, you're going to have to pay out a whole lot of money. They were bribing people behind the scenes to steal from someone, block someone's new beginning, block someone's offer opportunities. A sister's out here paying a whole a high priestess, right, to make a man fall in love with her, stay in love with her, stay with her. I'm going to stick beside her. That's what, that's, what, that's what she want him to say. I'm going to stick beside her. Yeah, that's my karmic. That's my karmic. I'm gonna stick beside her. Yeah, she ain't no good. She don't got nothing going on. She's an airhead. She's just as distorted as I am. I'm gonna stick beside her. And then the whole time he wants to go and be with a high priestess. With a true high priestess, a true empress, a true star seed. And that empress is say, hey, back up. <laughs> back up. <laughs> oh. Gosh, let's see. We got to add a little bit of humor to this stuff. But again, it said he had the answer right in front of him. <laughs> they put it right there. It said he, he can't miss this. It's right there. He can't miss it. They put it in front of him bold right there. And it was moving to to let him know, hey, I'm the answer. I'm the answer. <laughs> I'm the answer. And he went around any, mini, money, more. Which one do I take? Oh my gosh, this is so hard. And the whole time, I'm the answer. I'm the answer. He said, You know what? I take that one right up there. Oh, okay. Now you got to move on with this tail between his legs. Tails. So someone's been going to a practitioner. Someone's trying to go, to, been going to a practitioner to make something go in their favor. They said, I need this star seed to fall in love with me. I need you to send all the... Are they sending you energy too? Because that's what I keep getting. Like someone is going to a high priestess to do a lot of work. Send a lot of energy towards someone. Because they want you to see them in a certain light. That you don't... Like you see someone... You know what someone is. You know who and what someone is about. They are very false and toxic. But they want a high priestess to do some type of magic where you see them as genuine. They want you to see them as your equal. But you don't because you know someone's very karmic. Okay? Someone's very karmic. And they know possibly if this is like a love thing, there's an emperor that's coming in to give you an offer. And you and him are going to match because I'm seeing you two as an emperor and empress. So you are a match. Baby, I cannot, will not. <laughs> Clarity on this three of pentacles in the reverse, please. Oh, yeah, honey. <laughs> oh, God. 
You won't believe what came out. <laughs> the, the whole group is trapped. <laughs> the whole group is stuck. <laughs> Ooh, that's a boss up below. Mm. The whole group, baby. The whole group ain't having a good time. They're having a hard day, hard week, hard month. In a hard couple of years, even they say it ain't a couple of years. It's a long, long time. It's gonna be a long time before you all can recover. Excuse me as I get a sip of my vibe. <laughs> I cannot. Spirits out here being a comic. He said, Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles is karmic. She's unhinged. The whole group is unhinged. Okay, this collaboration is over, but they're still trapped in this contract of theirs. And they're going through endings, losing everything. Baby, it ain't no joke when the rabbit's got the gun. And the rabbit has got the gun. Pop out! That rabbit said, uh-uh. Uh-uh. What is this under my nails? Okay, there we go. I was eating some food earlier. Excuse me. Anyways, <laughs> the rabbit said, I got the gun. The rabbit's got the gun. There's a king of cups going through an ending and still trying to pay people behind the scenes huh, to do someone something. He said, I got the win. You got to make things go in my favor. He said, nah, 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 nah. Anyways, yeah, someone is absolutely going to a practitioner to get something to go in their favor. And once she's done with the ritual, right? Because he's paying this woman. He's paying this woman for things to go in his favor. As soon as she's done doing the ritual, he thinks it's the right time to come towards you. And you're going to see him as your twin flame. But he's being met with this energy. I told you, that woman's going to know, sir. As soon as you go towards her, she said, uh, a who? My who? Baby, we know you fell from grace. You out here being the joker, being a clown. You accept that bribery. We don't got time. We don't got time. We need people that got their own mind. And there's a man behind the scenes. Your light irritates the demon within this man. He does not like your light. It bothers the demon within him. It bothers the demon within him. You didn't do nothing to this man. But because he's been living a false life, Pretending to be something he's not. It's like someone pretending to be uh, an earth angel. And then the real earth angel comes by. The real earth angel stands up. And you say, oh, so that's what a real earth angel is. I can't pretend to be that anymore. So he said, oh, you know what? Since since uh, um, I can't pretend to be you anymore because everybody knows the truth now. about what a true earth angel is, what they look like and how they move. I got to take you out. So your life bothers the demon within this man. That demon being there. <clears throat> Every time he sees you, he can't stop watching you. You're front and center. And he knows you are an empress, baby. <laughs> and you're heavily protected. He knows, baby, he knows. He knows who you are and it's burdening him. has him way down. He said, oh my gosh, that was the true empress the whole time. Now I know the truth, okay? Your light bothers someone's demon. That demon is just in there. Uh, <gasps> earth angel is coming by. <gasps> They're talking about the earth angel. <gasps> <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. I don't know why I just heard peace be still. Peace be still. Okay. Is someone out there, if you're blaming people for a situation you're in, you cannot blame anyone. You're going to have to let go of your blames. Take accountability for your actions and try to get back on the right track in life. Okay. You are entitled to nothing in life. So you are entitled to no one. No one has to do, do uh, anything for you, give you anything. Take responsibility for your own life. That's what you all don't like to hear. You don't want to have to do that. You think you should be out here just taking from other people. But then you meet people that don't just roll over and it's a problem. Said, uh, it's a cute puppy, but why won't the puppy roll over? Uh, that's because that puppy is disguised. That's a whole lion in that puppy right there. Some type of 
protection. That puppy appears, that lion appears as a puppy to you because the ancestors are protecting you from that lion. So you see it as a cuddly puppy until you go and say, roll over. It's a, ah! I don't roll over for anyone. <laughs> ah, you think you're about to leg over a whole lion. You're talking about roll over. And it may look at you at first and then look away and say, uh, maybe, maybe they're having a bad day. I'll just let them be. <laughs> and then the, the lion doesn't roll over because you're seeing it as a puppy. He said, this puppy is very stubborn. It will not roll over. Roll over now. And that lion look at you like, oh, Arr! all teeth out and everything. Talking about roll over for who? You think I'm a puppet? I ain't no puppet. <laughs> So as that lion roars, it's like, oh, 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 that ain't no puppy. That's a whole lion. You got it. You, you, you just had a breakthrough. You just had an awakening. Listen, you had a whole awakening. You were threading down the wrong path, messing with that lion, talking about it's a puppy. That ain't no puppy. That's a whole king of the jungle. You trying to domesticate. Come on. Oh, okay. So, mm, someone out there, be cautious. Someone in your family could end up sick or they're going through some type of sickness. Uh, be cautious of this person as well. I don't know if you are the one going through an illness or there's a family member that's about to fall ill. This could be in karmic veil. Um, but yeah, someone is definitely dealing with something behind the scenes. Be cautious as well with the kind of friends. Or the people you are dealing with, there's a false person around you that you may not know. This is like someone you've been friends with for a long time and you don't know that uh, that they are your foe, basically. Like they're your enemy and you're out here being friends with them. Someone is not a friend. They're an enemy. Okay, so thread with caution. Uh, analyze the friendships you have. I don't care if it's been 40 years of friendship. 10 years, six months, analyze them because there's someone around you trying to end you, trying to block your forward movement. Okay, we have 24, 6, sailing onto calmer waters, healing, transition, ascension, things like that. You have a heart of gold and are very skilled at maintaining balance, stable relationships. You are loyal to your loved ones and are able to be the nurturer, protector, and provider all at once. I am generous, okay? And I don't think it's a coincidence that you are being advised to be cautious of the friends around you and then this is coming out. Be cautious of the people you are giving to because there are people around you taking advantage of you, okay? I'm trying to block you again, another six. So you may need to move on from a, yeah. You need to move on from a community of people or some type of relationship, whatever this is, okay? Uh, any positive changes or projects you are considering right now will be worth your while. Expect that your power to manifest and create will be hiding. I am expanding. Oh, let us all claim that. Let us first invest in our healing. Our mind, our mental, our emotions, our spirit. Let's work on healing all of those aspects of ourselves so that we can become the manifestors that we need to be. Okay? They say release grudges. Okay? And that goes with that. Don't blame. Don't put blame on other people. You need to take blame for your actions. If you accepted something and you ended up trapped in a situation you don't want to be trapped in, you got to accept that reality that you put yourself in that situation. Nobody put you in there. You can't listen when you, when we all leave this realm and we go to the spirit realm and we have to answer for, uh, everything we did. Okay. When we have to answer the councils, when they tell us or ask us, what did you learn in this lifetime? What did you think the purpose of this lifetime was? You cannot mention Sally and what Sally told you to do. You cannot mention Billy and what Billy uh, coerce you into doing. You are accountable for yourself. Okay? So you need to learn to, to let go of grudges. Free yourself from past, present things that are causing you trauma, PTSD, anxieties, and things like that. Let go. Let go. Because you ain't holding nobody back but yourself. Okay? It says release grudges from your, free yourself from the past and open to healing, lighten your load. I know that's what I'm saying. 
Because you're out here bitter, angry, holding grudges, and the whole time you don't realize you're the one walking around with the baggage and the other person you're angry about is out here living their best life. This is oftentimes how karmics are. They're out here burning way down, having nightmares and anxiety about how they're not able to block some, able to block someone's future. And the whole time you're way down carrying all these burdens that you shouldn't be carrying. And the person you're trying to block, they're sailing into the sunset, not even thinking about you, but you're thinking about them. There's a woman when she wakes up in the morning, all she does is turn her phone on to see what another woman is doing. So that means that other woman either has some type of social media platform or they're stalking this woman in some way. That's all she does. Someone don't forget how to wash their behinds, brush their teeth. Someone is just reckless, maybe even has some type of odor to them, but they don't care. They're still out there. Just so what did collective post today? What did she post today? What did she say? What did she tweet? Girl, you got to get a life. That's a full-time job, and you ain't getting paid to do it. Uh-uh. Anyways, Collective, thank you for watching the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. I will see you in my next read. Stay blessed as always, and goodbye for now.